welcome, welcome again, my viewers and my subscribers to Life with Jennifer J. M. And guess what? I am your girl, Auntie Jen. I'm my viewers and my subscribers. Huh? I said in this video, you remember one time everybody had talked about Mark Golden stuff and Mark Golden this and Mark Golden can be the Prime Minister. I'm not this and him the that. Well, huh? Mark Golden, Mark Golden, I show them, say, him not a soft soap. So, Mr. Golden, make sure, ask the Speaker of the House to explain. Remember, I showed that video when Lisa and her answer, she couldn't answer. I am going to show you now. When Mark Golden asks her, what are the legal basis and upon which they want to change all of these things to make the committee where they know say them have the most side. So when you go to the community, the committee, you know say the committee never meet for one year. And when I'm a try for them, because they know say election is like little over a year. If they can't get to make nothing more to come out to the light, they can trick the Jamaican people. But you know what? We will have none of it, my people. We're going to have none of it. Because we already see one of going, it's all on the supporters, they're going to support you now with the slides. But we, the Jamaica people, no. You take a listen to what Mark Golden have to say. You listen to this. I him to speak in silence. Members! Madam Speaker. Member Golden. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The idea of reports coming to Parliament and not being tabled immediately so that they become a matter of public record and public discussion is problematic for me because when things come to parliament and are automatically referred to a committee a committee on which the government side whichever government is in office the government side will dominate that committee in terms of the numbers and so on and the scheduling and the, and the agenda of that committee. So you could have a situation where a, very, a matter of public interest, a matter that is vital in terms of its impact on the governance of the country, is sent to Parliament and because of this procedure is sent to a committee without the members being aware of it, without the public being aware of it because it's not tabled. And then the time frame for that committee to hear that matter is up to that committee to determine. I think that's a very unsatisfactory way of proceeding, and I can tell you, it was never contemplated that the Integrity Commission's reports or the Auditor General's reports, which are about transparency and accountability in government, would be subject to a parliamentary procedure which runs against that objective and that principle. So I think that we are going down the wrong track by saying that we're going to henceforth be following a procedure which de delays or postpones the tabling of documents, reports sent here, the Parliament of the land, by investigative bodies. And I'm asking again, Madam Speaker, can you please share with the House, the members of the House, the legal opinion or opinions that have been provided to you or your predecessor in your capacities as Speaker of the House, so that the members of the House can understand the legal basis of this position that is being taken. Uh, we've asked for this before, Madam Speaker. You've indicated that you're minded to do it, but we haven't seen it. So I'm asking if you could please remedy that. Thank you. If you notice, you know, people at the beginning, I you know, for them members start make up nice, you know. Mr. Chu, they have the majority in the house. Mr. said the people then come in like them a bullbuck and up a conqueror. They want to shut down everybody. They want to do everything. If it's the will and they could have get in all, we could even depend on social media. We could not can depend on whether they shut down, they shut down all the way. It's a good thing that so these companies are American owned and China owned, so they can't do nothing to it. If they may ever have the least grip, we will not be able to hear sharing our views. Do you hear me tell you? So these are valid questions that the opposition leader is asking her. And it's yet for her to reply back to the opposition leader. Let us know, let the Jamaica people know, upon which merit of the law are you going into just a change and shift and halt and shift and halt. 
that's why the speaker that's why the clerk of the house leave before her time here some people are contact about it was her retirement she have two more months before her full term she left before her full term for those of you who didn't know that she left before her full term she have two more months to leave because she have been seen the whole lot of deception which she never seen at the house for all the years she in there and then everybody ever get themselves mixed up in any certain thing and anytime they find so you can't get to use it they're going to push you away all right also a concerned citizen is also saying he need to know what is happening in the government so i'm going to let you listen to what he have to say take a listen to this I mean, I don't want to go so far right now, you know. But may I get sick and tired of this now. I am tired of all the crap that is happening in our Jamaican parliament. I am tired of all the deflecting and the firing back. Now, I don't care who want or who don't want to know who the illicit six are. But I need to know, as a taxpayer, as a citizen of Jamaica, as someone who put government in place, I need to know. I would like to know who is getting rich off of taxpayers' money because my money is involved in that as well. I am here, cannot live a good life while these knuckleheads take my hard-earned money and live a life of luxury. I would like to know who these six are. I don't care what to not hiding and what to not not hiding. I would like to know no so there you have it my viewers and my subscriber you hear what the what the gentleman is saying he need to know any decent law abiding citizen of jamaica would want to know you know what i know you know what i know all your elect remember that the broker did say you know we must hold our elected persons them accountable on a labor right forget them said that so we want to have bets up for now because people are all in my account and I talk about one woman will put in for my, for my comment uh, stop so bad seed because any seed is so what kind of bad seed mess up? what kind of bad seed mess up? I'm not so no bad seed after I know me and the way government are doing they are so bad seed for themselves and me so that, that question that you were asking me was frivolous I'm not so no bad seed for them my dear child and they are so bad seed for themselves if they do what is right, nobody can criticize them. Everybody would be elevating them and really esteeming them high above. You get what I'm saying? So, my viewers and my subscribers, me tell you now, we are staying on top of this as fast as me saying a little thing. I keep my ears and my eyes them attentive. So, we'll continue the conversation. Tell me what you think about what the gentleman is saying and tell me what you think about what Mark Golden is saying. And if you have not yet like share or subscribe to the channel life with jennifer jm remember that i'm your girl auntie jen and the conversation continue and i'll catch you next time bye